very good morning to everyone again welcome in the part 4 or session 4 of tuberous and nutraceutical plants of india today we will discuss about tuberous plants of areaceae family so you can observe that leaves of one species belongs to this family a munda tribe she collected for food purposes the aram family comprise about 114 genera and about 3750 species of flowering plants you can observe this is the one species of this family the local communities they are digging out for the food purposes so rsc or aram family the rsc are a family of monocotyledonous flowering plant in which flowers are born to a born one a type of inflorescence called a spadix. The spadix is usually accompanied by and sometimes partially enclosed in a spath or leaf-like bract. So the leaves are somewhat leathery and variable in shape. You can observe the different shape, different types of leaf. Areasi have to be cooked to be eaten and the most common techniques are boiling frying and baking or roasting these species cannot be eat in raw it may cause irritation and infection to the human body system in traditional pork stem of areaceae we are cooked usually with coconut milk and eaten with staple food meanwhile tubers are boiled and eaten during leisure time especially during a period of monsoon season you can observe some people they collect and they dry after drying they make the powder and they consume the powder now alocasia fornicata leaves and stolons of alocasia fornicata is used against bacterial infection alocasia buccalata it is applied externally to treat rheumatism and arthritis alocasia decipiens Rhizome of Alocasia decipiens is used in bacterial infections. Alocasia mycorrhizas juice from the petiole is a potential against cough. Amorphopholus bulbifer. The root is very high in water and low in calories, so it is a being promoted as a diet food. The root must be thoroughly boiled or bagged. Amorphopholus pinifolius. This root is very high in water and low in calories, so it is a being promoted as a diet food. The root must be thoroughly boiled or bagged. Tuber is used in folk medicine for the treatment of acute rheumatism, asthma, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Arisima tortosum, the juice of the tuber is applied to the wounds of a cattle in order to kill any parasite. It must be thoroughly dried or cooked before being eaten. Colocasia esculenta, a decoction of the plant is taken to relieve stomach problems. Combs are edible, they can be boiled, bagged, fried, etc. in much the same way as potatoes. Lassia spinosa, the rhizome are used medicinally for treating stomach pain, insect bites, injuries, and rheumatisms. Young leaves and petioles are cooked and used as a vegetable. Remosatia vivipara. Remosatia vivipara is used in folk medicine to treat whooping cough and used for the wound to dispel any worms and germs. Raphidophora glaqua. Whole plant is used to treat injuries, cuts, insect bites, and skin ulcer. Raphidophora hukri. The stem of Raphidophora uh, hukri are used medicinally for treating fractures. Scandipsus officinalis. Root paste is used to reduce joint pain and respiratory problems. Now, Theriophonum minutum. Leaves are used as a vegetable. Whole plant is used as medicine against intestinal ulcer. Typhonium trilobitum. Leaves are used as a vegetable. It is also used for ornamental purposes. The rhizome is used in the treatment of vomiting, cough, asthma, and headache. Thank you very much.
today we discussed about the plant species belongs to area c family 